Next is Jared Wilson, who's also a big name in the industry of toy licensing and merchandising, and also in animation. Here in the Philippines, I have this to Okay. Oh, Alright, um, next one I would like to share with you a quick reel of all the titles that we work on. Or some of the titles that we work on. Practice. 
practical on the job training. Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 or 7, 7 in our studio with a training allowance. So, some kind of that is probably a little pa ang may allowance. Okay? And from enrollment to employment, that is guaranteed deployment yan to our shows Okay? All you need to do is really to pass the training. We have our uh, batch of the class that's going on has 15 students and it, it's a mixture of fresh grads. Some are uh, people who've been working already but wanted to pursue animation because that's their passion. What else do we offer? We offer also career talks and studio tours for those of you who would like to experience a day in the life of an animator or a director. We can go to you for a career talk like this one or we can invite you over so you get to see how you can recreate your animated characters that you can see. Okay? So um, that's it, career, uh, career, to, uh, career talks and studio tours. And the other one is we also do offer internship programs or mentoring programs to anyone who would like to deepen their knowledge. So that's it for Top Draw Animation. The next part, um, I'll invite on the stage no less than the animation directors from our studio. And when they come here, they'll really just be a casual sharing of a day in the life of an animator or a director. I'll call them in so that they can share with you the stories, their own stories, fine, that it's in that. And also, we're open to answer any questions that you guys might have. Is that okay? Cool. All right. So, the walking event is that is sad. Is sad. Let me start with the animation director who brought to life the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How about a hand or director? Go ahead, 
Hey, uh, good afternoon again, everybody. Um, so to answer your question, Ms. Claire, I'm actually a graduate of Peace Animation, four-year course siya. So may background ako when I started going to animation and when I found out about Top Draw. And uh, after graduation, um, yun yung in-advice sa akin, yung thesis advisor and chairperson yung animation course then. And he said, Top Draw is offering free animation training. Tingnan mo lang, subukan mo lang. And lucky enough, I got accepted and here I am now. Alright, thank you. So Sam started as a trainee straight from college and slowly, well not slowly because it happens every year in a promotion with them. Thank you. Then you can pass on the mic to the rest of you.
Actually, so nice sila eh. Binigyan nila ako ng ano eh, mga parang projects na lang. Uh, Fortune na ako lang, so thesis, no? Ginawa uh, ko lang siya as parang project. And then, nung nalapit na ako mag-delivery, nagpaalam naman ako doon sa studio. <laughs> Nagigil ako sa imans, di ba? Sabi nga, meron lang hindi natin imans. <laughs> Ang tagalim na ako. Without pain naman siya, pumayag sila. So, parang ako matapos ako. And then, pumayag na ako. <clears throat> So, again, yung tinasa ko, nag-start ako as clean up and ID, sabi ni Direk Lian, uh, noong time na yun, meron pa talagang yung clean up and ID. No? Very traditional, hand-drawn sa paper. No? Ngayon, actually, sa digital, meron pa rin sa paperless, but uh, using pockets and leaks, wala nang yung clean up and ID. <laughs> so, as parang kung hiyan natin yung assistant animators. No? So, again, uh, For two years, naging assistant animator, nagkaroon ng opportunity, nag-open ng exam for animation. So yun, yun lang ito, kamil. <laughs> so dinaram natin, nakapasa, nag-train, and uh, yun, after ilang years din. Actually, nga tayo yung mga uh, pamilya sa mga Marvel, no? So mga X-Men, Fantastic Four, that time yung style, very comic style. And yun, and then after young years, nagbigyan din ako ng offer para mag-assistant director. So siyempre, karito niya, no? Karito niya. So hindi ako masyado nag-experience animation. Ito, pumasa ako sa pagiging assistant. And doon na nag-start, no? Uh, nag-work ako sa uh, Korean studio. Nag-set up sila dito for two years. And then sa Singapore studio. And then ito na nga, no? Yung ginagawa ng yung project, uh, doon sa Singapore studio, I actually natuloy sa Tadro. So, doon nag-start yun, 2012, uh, more than 10 years na sa Tadro. At uh, ganun katagal, kasi nalanggapan ko talaga yung magiging part ng family. So, join na nito. <laughs> Alright. Um, salamat for sharing how you started your animation journey. Um, yung animation kasi, even, most, even during my plan, no? Parang, ano yun? Ano yung animator? Diba? Ano yung animation? No? So, I can imagine na kapag nagpapakilala kayo sa mga classic nyo, yung pag may reunion kayo, nasaan kayo ngayon? Ha? Sa animation? I'm sure may follow up question yun, no? Ano yung animation? Ganyan. Alright. Um, ngayon, um, I'm looking at the time. So, uh, my question is, over the years at Nandito naman kasi sa men, to, para magilatag yung tunay na gulong ng buhay sa animation. So, if there is um, one challenge of being an animator, what is that? Direct sa. I can start with this clear. Uh, ako kasi personally yung experience ko sa pagiging animator, as mentioned nga ni Ms. Claire, nag-start ako as trainee ng top draw after uh, six months animator and then a year, uh, three years, sorry, three years after naging assistant director ako kagad. So yung, yung life na ina-experience ko within that three years, hindi siya talaga uh, basta lang drawing, basta lang animation, uh, matututo ka, yun, laging sinasabi sa amin nun no, sa training. Nandiyan lagi yung deadlines, nandiyan lagi yung pressure, and minsan ako personally, kasi bata pa ako nun, fresh grad, uh, nakakompare ko yung sarili ko dun sa mga batchmates ko, nakakompare ko yung sarili ko dun sa mga nauna sa akin for a few months, kasi nga, six months na yung training ng doctor. So, yung, uh, yung skills ko, na nakakompare ko na sa kanila. So, meron kang kalaban on your own, kasi ba, papaisip ka sa sarili mo kasi pag um, may kick-stops ng directors, hindi ma-approve, approve, I'm sure kayo may experience nyo rin yan. Hindi kumakasak ka agad-agad yung mga works nyo. Ganun din sa amin yung mga isena. Minsan magpapaisip ka, pang animation ba talaga ako? Tatagal ba ako dito? Kaya ko ba talaga? Yung lahat ng pressure na yun, may experience to shine those three years. And ako yung naging drive ko na lang talaga para ma-overcome yun. Binabalikan ko kasi, bakit ako nag-start? Bakit ako nag-start? 
Alam ko, medyo cliche, medyo cheesy pakinggan. Pero very passionate kasi talaga ako dun sa animation. Gusto ko yung nakikita ko yung works ko. Ganito, dinidisplay, sinishowcase ko. Tapos sabi na nung kwenta minister, kaya nga nagtatanong na mga high school classmates and college classmates ko before. Saan ka na nga? Ano ginagawa mo? Ano na posisyon mo? Tapos sabihin ko lang, animator ako ng Disney. Dito na ang ginagawa. Dito na mismo sa Pasig. Tapos lahat sila na amazed. Tapos yung pride kasi nung katumbas, nung pressure, nung stress, wala siya eh. Kasi yun nga, iisipin, babalik ka mo lang ulit. Baano ka nagsimula? Paano ka tutuloy? Yun yung naging drive ko talaga. And ina-expect naman natin yun lahat sa kahit anong industry, kahit anong workplace. Pero yung personal mo kasi na choice and yung paano mo nadadali yung sarili mo and paano mo harapin yung kalaban mo nga sa sarili yung challenges mo versus yourself. Yun yung mag-aano eh, isa sa mga mag-push din sa iyo. So first yun, yun yung ginawa ko, yung experience ko. Thank you, Derek Sam. Maybe I'll ask a different question for the others naman. So, just a quick recap, ang challenge, pretty much like any other job you will land in, merong pressure sa deliverables. Whether it's time, whether it's quality, or the quantity of work that needs to be delivered. Naman? At syempre, makikisa na buha ka sa mga kasama mo sa studio, sa boss mo, sa mga katrabaho mo. But nonetheless, if you land in a job that is actually your passion, then you don't have to work a day in your life because you're in a playground getting paid to do what you like to do best. Tama ba yan? Sabi ni Mark Twain. Alright, now, at kung yun yung mga challenges, talagang naman natin yung dalawang creative directors natin dito. Ano talaga yung, how does it feel to be a group of artists for a content to be shown not just in the Philippines but worldwide? Ngayon natin si Direct Arlen. Or kung sino na ready? Sorry, Ian, Direct Ian. Kasi pag sinabing My Little Pony, Kasi yung teamwork, eh, importante yan sa 
uh, sa isang team para makadeliver ka. So, kung meron passion, passion ay lahat, no? Uh, willing yan, uh, yung effort halos wala. So, at may have uh, makadeliver ka ng isang uh, maganda ang quality. Thank you. At tulad po sa napanood niyo kanina sa video, no? uh, we have a Google-like facility. So we have our game room, we have our spa area, we have our art area, we have our own gym, okay? uh, and at our animation cafe. Anyone who, can, who knows how to play any instrument just can just go to the stage and jam with anyone. No? So, it's really a nice uh, environment to be at. And uh, yes, uh, ano pong ginagawa doon? How do you say it's fun there? May, pa, may upcoming mobile legend tournament po lang po. <laughs> yes! May pa, may pa ML, uh, may pa ML uh, tournament kami na yung parating na buwan. No? Uh, is it this or in July, I think, no? nagpagsapan yesterday. Because, Yung community of artists na nalagay ay mga game enthusiasts po yan. And you might ask, kami bang game development students, meron din ba kami career sa animation? Nagugulat po kayo, we have a good number in our community who used to be game developers but have found their passion in animation. And it's a tribe that also promotes uh, games, no? Eh, para yung mga sa digital arts yan, na cluster. Uh, Alright, so maybe I'm gonna ask you now, um, the three of you now, on what, kung siguro the first question is, may career ba kong sa game development student sa animation? And kung wala akong background sa animation, ano yung importante skill na kailangan ko to be successful in animation? Um, siguro first yung passion mo. First, hindi mo kailangan ma-establish. Uh, uh, gusto mo ba talaga yung animation? Hindi yung mapipilit ang dana? Or, okay lang kasi yung mga era. Hindi mo gano'n. So, pero wala yung passion. Hindi ka magsasaksin. So, yun yung muna. Siyempre, kung passionate ka rin, naaralin mo. Ano yung, ano yung mga kailangan ko para maging isang magaling o successful na animator? So, siyempre, uh, second day, i-equip ka na yung growing skills, no? Uh, ang animation is wide range. Yung uh, masasabi ng animator ka, pero nasa ibang field ka, na hindi naman nagre-require ng growing skills. Though, kay Cap, no, kasi uh, we are in broadcast, no? Film, movies, and uh, we're doing high-end animation, so none of the requirements, no? Kung makikita ka even sa 3D, eh, uh, if you are into 3D, if you're working in sa international uh, projects, no, so film or movie, uh, requirement din yan, hindi na sa TV na So, yun. And then, siguro, uh, being observer. Kasi, uh, if you're an animator, nagpapagalaw ka ng lahat ng bagay, yung movement ng models ng tao. So, dapat maging observer ka. Kasi, uh, matututunan mo yung basics, animation, let's say, sa isang walk. Natutunan nyo yung standard walk, pero iba-iba naman ang walk. Ibang walk ng kaya, ibang walk ng mataba, ng bigat, ibang walk ng muntis, ibang walk ng sexy ng babae, iba rin mag-walk ang kaya. So, wide range talaga sa isang topic uh, na walk na pakarami. So, matututunan nyo yung walk as basic, pero as an animator, pag-aaralan nyo, be of certain pag-aaralan nyo. So, yun. Uh, agree ka man ako kay Ricardin. Passion na lang talaga man sa akin. Kasi uh, marami kami sa, sa studio. No? Hindi sila graduate ng finance. Hindi sila masyadong uh, uh, so kaling sa zero way. Meron nga kami doon mga uh, certified players. Meron kami mga iba-ibang ano, iba kill. Meron may, may engineering. Meron, meron nga kami truck driver. <laughs> so, so, yun nga nakasawa sa mundo ng animation kasi hindi nila talaga tinitigil yung baka mo kaya dahil ka ng animation, dahil ka ng fine arts, dahil ka ng fine arts, dahil ka ng fine arts, dahil ka ng passion mo, nandun, yung interest mo, yung talaga hindi mo iiwan ang pagkapasok ka na dahil ka naging sasakagayang experience mo. Hindi ko rin naman siya talaga passion ng animation. 
Pero talaga, good kayo na nandaman yun eh. Para sa sayo talaga, para sa sayo, hindi mo matatakasa yun. <laughs>
Hindi siya masyadong related sa animation siya na course ko. Okay, I'll answer niya po. Alright, so painting course is actually a good background because one of our favorite directors and um, um, the one who directed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay, is a graduate of fine arts. At yan din po ang and, and painting, major in painting. No? Um, aside from the animation department, one background, that, uh, one department that we have is background. Okay? So all the artists painting the backgrounds and the landscapes and all what have you, I do po na ako. So pwede, pwede po siya. No? Katulad ng sinabi kanina, basta may passion ka to draw, to tell a story, and you are into digital, ay, pasok ka dito. So, thank you for that question, Sarah. Meron ba kami practical immersion internship? Yes, we do offer internships. Because we understand that we need to help the academic partners in narrowing the gaps and preparing the students to the real world. So, man, tell your brother that he's on the right track. Okay. All right. Maybe as a last message from our um, distinguished guests, a panel of um, uh, directors that we have in front, why top draw? Why do you encourage one to join top draw? Okay. So, sa akin, why top draw? Kasi yung uh, sense of family, talagang doon ko naramdaman sa, sa company na sa Top of animation, na talagang pagkapas ko ng bahay, pagkapas ko ng opisina. Talagang ano, looking forward ka to, to meet yung mga friends mo, na parang mga kapatid mo na din. Tapos yung, yung, yung management, parang gano'n din sila mong support. Hindi sila yung tipong ipatrata ka na parang empleyado ka na. Parang gano'n. Hindi. Pagka nasa promo ka, nandun sila lagi to support you. Uh, in any way, in any case, kung ano yung power. Uh, Kahit, kahit ano, basta kahit ano, nandun sila. At uh, may na, sinisiguro nila na uh, susuportahan ka nila, uh, talagang iaawag ka nila sa kahit anong trouble na yun ka, maasahan mo sila lagi. So, yun po. Thank you. Sa akin lang po, um, opportunities are endless talaga dito sa doctor. Tapos makita makita yung potential mo, makita yung drive mo. Um, Bibigyan ka nila ng opportunity para gumaling ka sa skill mo at the same time uh, ako yung uh, experience ko sa kanila not to brag pero talagang yung mabilis na promotion kasi alam nila na kaya mo, alam nila na pwede ka mag-lead, pwede ka mag-mentor, pwede ka mag-coach Bibigyan nila yung opportunity na yun sa'yo and connecting to that Ang ganda ng coaching, ng mentoring ng, ng directors dito sa doctor. Hindi ka talaga pukulangin kung gusto mong matutok sa animation. Thank you. Ms. Sir? Um, in my point of draw, kasi uh, top draw is the best uh, training program for animators. Uh, top draw is the best facilities in the, not just in the Philippines, I think in the world. And uh, you're going to be the best artists because we train uh, artists to be the best in the world. And also, you, you will be the best directors uh, doing the best animated projects. So. Thank you. If I may add, there's work-life balance in the sense that half of our workforce are working from home. Okay? But the others are working on site because they're the ones who needs mentoring and coaching. So, you know, um, thank you. Stay. Um, how about a round of applause for our panel of the uh, financial directors? Stay in our seats, please. As we show one more reel to close the program. So, once again, here's our invite from Top Ryan Nation. Do you hear You're on the shooter. I like it. A cheater. Me, stopper. We are top priority. 500 plus people in 